Sneeko and Jideon man look I gotta make a part two I wasn't going to but because I did that part one video I felt like I needed to kind of rephrase the things I said things I kind of didn't know at the time but Sneeko and Jideon went on a little bit of a argument yesterday i'll show you a little bit about it not too much but a little bit so here we go what was your what's the issue with oh that? we'll get to it we'll get to it well, let's see you, now. Let's you, keep, see okay, how... you keep playing and reading these. i'm asking like i'm talking to you Jadia. this I'm is like, also what sneko says what's your problem with that your god is a jewish man according to you your god is a jew Gideon, god is jewish so this is how we're, we're this is how we're gonna treat your friends you know what i mean when you first said what's, what's, you went, i'm asking you what's the issue with that the issue so if i came at you backwards like that talking about the prophet muhammad uh muhammad or talking about allah you wouldn't yeah, feel people, some I have way open conversation with every people say it all the time people like make claims about muhammad now again i had a part one video it's called you know i think it says i think the video's title is called like jideon uh or sneeko or no it's jideon block sneeko after asking for a islam versus christianity debate and that video got like over 800 views and one thing that one of the comments let me know and this is why i like getting comments because i get corrected because again i'm only human i don't know everything okay i'll admit that uh but someone in the comments told me that it was actually brother josh who actually was trying to get a islam versus christianity debate in the first place i found the clip and while in the clip or i watched the whole video about it but the video is brother josh uh trying to to like get a Muslim to come in to argue where in the Bible is Muhammad mentioned. Now, I actually did my own research. I know they believe Deuteronomy. There is a verse in Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 18, verse 22, I believe, where Moses talks about a prophet. And I believe that's the one that Muslims use all the time. They also use Mark chapter 1, verse 7. And the reason why I know this is because there was a point in my life where I was actually considering becoming Muslim. But but let me first just get into the actual video. First and foremost, I, I, I love Gideon and I love Brother Josh. They've helped me a lot in my studies. They're the first people that actually got me to get into my Bible. Uh, I've, re I've already gone through this whole story, this whole you know time, how I was a lukewarm Christian up until I was like 19 years old. Then eventually, uh, I gave up the faith. I became agnostic. I hated God. It went as bad as to the fact that on an Instagram live stream, and I'm so glad no one clipped this from me because I feel like I would have been traumatized, or not trauma, that's a bad word to use, but I would have, my, my mental state wouldn't have been well if there was a clip of me throwing a Bible on the ground and stomping on it, which I did do that, and I, I felt bad. And that's how bad it got at one point. And now I gave my life back to God in October. It's been nothing but a spiritual warfare, trying to stay away from lust, trying to stay away from temptation. And it's been difficult. I'm not going to act like if it's easy. You know, it all began. And I posted a short about this where I had to ask myself an honest question in October. I had to ask myself, am I going to heaven or am I going to hell? And I had to be honest with myself and I had to say, I'm going to hell the way I'm, the way I'm doing things. And so I've been studying my Bible. Here's my Bible. I've already shown the notes. Actually, <laughs> I was actually listening to their argument while I was studying my Bible. And I did this whole Hanukkah versus Christmas whole page in front to back. I like writing notes. Okay. And most of it is just Bible verses right here. This is all Bible verses about the Bible calling out paganism. So <laughs> that's a whole nother topic for another day. But I've been studying my Bible. I've been studying the truth. But I'm not going to lie to you. Back in December... I considered Islam because Islam offers things that I, I just thought that Christianity doesn't. You know, I think Islam is a beautiful religion and I respect it. And I believe one thing that Christians should do is Christians should study, you know, Islam, especially. I think you should get a Quran. I have my Quran. It's all the way over there. Uh, I, I recently got it. I, I was reading it for a bit. But first, I do want to get right with the with the with the Bible and then I'll get into the Quran because one thing I noticed about a lot of Christians is Christians are very ignorant to Islam. A lot of Christians don't know this, and I know this just from my own experience, but a lot of Christians don't know that that Muslims believe in Jesus. They just don't believe in as a God. They see him as a prop. They do see him as the Messiah, but, or I could be wrong about that, but they do see him as the Messiah. They just don't see him as, you know, uh, God himself, you know, that like they don't worship him or nothing. They see him as a good prophet. And I respect a lot of Muslims. 
I know people like to mock them for being, oh, terrorists, ISIS, Hamas, uh, but it's only a small percentage. I mean, you can use that on Christians, too. You can say the KKK was inspired by Christians. I think, I could be wrong about this, but Hitler was Christian. You know, people have used their religion in the wrong way. Like, it's like, it's like saying Jeffrey Dahmer represents all gay people. Like, sure, they're sinning, but like, uh, you know, you can't just say all gay people are like Jeffrey Dahmer just because Jeffrey Dahmer happened to be gay and he kidnapped men. That's a whole nother topic. Um, and back in December, I was st struggling with whether I'm Christian or Muslim. Um, and I do plan on reading the Quran even more. But it was Sheikh Guzman who I was watching a lot of his videos from One Message Foundation. I actually got my Quran from his website, One Message Foundation. He made a lot of good points. He's respectful. He comes from a Christian, or I don't think he was Christian, but I think he was Catholic. He was. A, he comes from a Catholic background. I'm not Christian. I'm a, I mean, I'm not Catholic, by the way, guys. So I just want to clarify that. Uh, and he just made so many good points. I started watching videos of how people were at, like in Mecca, um, seeing Sneeko's journey from becoming Muslim. Because look, I'm gonna say this right now. I like Sneeko. I know the popular thing is to be like, oh, Sneeko's a crazy alt right conspiracy. No, I like Sneeko. Sneeko's a jing. Sneeko's one of the most honest guys on the internet. And unfortunately, being honest on the internet gets you a lot of hate because when you're honest, there's eventually going to be a time where some they're they're not going to like one thing you say or disagree or whatever. Because a lot of the internet influencers are too PC friendly. I'd even say that Jideon, before he became devoted to the word of God, Jideon was a bit PC friendly. Like there are certain things that he wouldn't joke about or he would say certain things, and you could tell he was like trying to like maneuver his way out of things. But I'm glad that he finally gave his life to God. Brother Josh and Jideon, I love what they were doing, but I'm not going to lie to you from this stream. It made Jideon and Brother Josh look bad. It made them look awful. Because from the get-go, the whole thing was a two-hour debate of Jideon saying, I don't uh, uh, debate this. Oh, you're being bad. You're doing this. You're doing that. And I can't blame Jideon for being mad at Sneeko. But at the end of the day, it, it, kinda, it just began with Sneeko trying to ask for that debate because Brother Josh put it out there. And, and that's the thing. I like Brother Josh and I like Gideon. I, I love them. God bless them. But you can't put out a challenge and then when a challenger comes, you can't just fold. You know, this isn't the biggest menace competition, Gideon. You got, you kind of, you have to live by the word. You have to live by your word. And I get it. And it, it, in a certain way, Debating is a sin in the Bible. If you are debating just for the sake of making your ego feel better. So I get it. But you kind of put it out there already. It reminds me of when I was in seventh grade. I made a bet with this kid. It was for a Real Madrid versus Barcelona game. And we bet $5. And I said, if Barcelona wins, you give me $5. If Real Madrid wins, um, you give me, or I give you $5. And... I, I told my parents about it because Real Madrid ended up being Barca and they told me that's wrong what you did gambling is a sin and all that but I still had to give them the five bucks because when you make a deal you have to go by the deal you know and I respect but brother Josh seems like he's a great intelligent man he's helped me a lot in my studies with the Bible he's shown me a lot of the truth of of what it means to be a Christian and I love what brother Josh has done but I also, I like a lot of Sheikh, Sheikh Guzman was like the first guy who genuinely got me to question Islam. Like he was the first guy to get me to, to be like, oh, maybe this is the truth. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Maybe is this or that. And I like the conversation. Sheikh came off as a nice guy. I think what I didn't like was it felt like Gideon was speaking for Brother Josh the whole time. It got annoying that their whole argument was let's debate about the debate. Now I get one thing about it. The one thing I do get is keeping it solely on the Bible because the problem with cross religion debates it's it's kind of like my book is right my book is right or my book is right it's kind of like it's just an argument you know by the way they're both Bibles but it's like it's almost like this weird argument of my book says this your book says that it's like it, it gets a little ridiculous but I'm gonna tell you this right now I want to see that debate because Sheikh Usman brother brother Josh is what got me to truly read the Bible even more and Sheikh Usman, um, he got me to actually get a Quran. 
So they're both people who impacted my life. I, I, I'm going to be honest. They impacted my life in positive ways. And I feel like a conversation amongst them would be just interesting. Um, but I, I'll say one last thing I'll say is that it does feel like Sneeko is getting very clout heavy from this. I love Sneeko. Sneeko's a young, intelligent man, and I wish him the best. And I love what he's been doing. Um, I love that he was go- able to go to Mecca, but at, at times it feels like he's still in that clout mindset. I need views. I need this. I need that. While Jideon is already gone from that. Like, you could tell that Jideon doesn't really care anymore about the views, about the money, about any of it. I mean, everyone's saying that he fell off, even though he chose to delete his own channel. Or not delete his channel, but delete the videos. But much love to both of these young men. I wish them the best of luck. But it was a little ridiculous what happened. So all I can say is, Brother Josh, Jideon, just get into a conversation with Sheikh Guzman. Um, I would love to see this this conversation between two intelligent uh, people in their own respective religions. I would love to. Not only that, but just for my own mind. Because, again, my mind at one point was considering Islam heavily. You know, I, I considered it heavily. And I would love to see the guy who got me to read my Bible and the guy who got me to buy a Quran. Or not, I didn't buy a Quran. I got it for free. Those two guys, I would love to see them just have a conversation. Because... I think that's ultimately the best thing people should do. That, that's I, This is one thing I've noticed. When I give respect to Muslims in my videos, I've already received comments of people saying, Islam's a dirty religion. It's filled with terrorists. It's filled with that. And all I'm thinking is, have you ever spoken to a Muslim? Have you actually ever tried to learn what the Quran says? Have you ever done any of that? Like, 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 why, like as Christians, and this is where I, I was a little frustrated with Jideon, is as Christians... Uh, you have to keep yourself balanced. You have to understand. You have to show yourself well to the world. I mean, obviously, you can get mad and you can do this. I mean, G- we're supposed to live like Jesus, and Jesus got mad. You know, he flipped the table at a church, <laughs> right? But, but we should keep ourselves more composed. We have to keep ourselves, you know, calm, relaxed, because the unfortunate reality is hating Christians is so normal that that it's just kind of like. I mean, look at what Little Nas X did. Little Nas X disrespected Jesus, and that's how he makes his money nowadays. It's just by disrespecting Jesus. Sure, he gets backlash, but still, most people don't care. You disrespect the Prophet Muhammad, bro, eh, you'd be lucky if you had a career after that. But And this video isn't me saying one side was better. To me, I believe the truth is in the Bible, but I would love to see a conversation. And not only that, but I still want to read my Quran. Um, but yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys for watching this video. And you know, let me know in the comments what you think. And stay tuned for the Sabbath series on Saturday. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on my TikTok at BillNoYT. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.